This is the boot dock. I've seen them come up here. I'm going to see if I can get on. I don't know. Probably not. I'm just going to check and see. But this looks beautiful. All right, let's go see what this is all about. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but we'll see. What's up? How's it going? I'm here because I want to get a boat tower. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I just came here. I just out the blue. Do you even have like a, a spot for me at four o'clock? On the four o'clock, we do have some space available. Right. Yeah. So you yeah, let's do it. Do you, you take card? Yeah, we do. Why is the why is your fly is so huge here? Like I don't I think know. it take out like a, a linebacker. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let me just okay. it. Yeah, 345. 345. Uh, would you like a copy of your receipt? Um, yeah, just in case. You're like, hey, you don't belong here. <laughs> All right. So there's the receipt for it. Oh, thank and you. And here is your ticket to get on board. All right. We're at 345. All right, 345. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's start. Take it. Hi. Is there, um... Seen a boat tour. Uh, the first time. Two, four. Two, four. Um... The Rising Sun Motor Inn. That's pretty cool. I'm going on a boat tour. That's what's up. So I just got to wait a little bit. Um, I don't know. I just spurred a moment. But who okay, cares? Going on a boat tour. And this is awesome. See, sometimes you just got to just go with it. Go with the flow. Okay, so right now it is 2.37. So, um, uh, I, right, so here's a good thing about this is that this stop is the closest to St. Mary Visitor Center. So even though I'm gonna be pushing it cause it's at four, five, I should be back by around six and the last shuttle leaves at Logan's Pass at seven. So if I clock this correctly, I should be able to get back without any problems back to the visitor center because they have to pick up people um, from this spot right here. So I should be back by that time, hopefully. If not, I might have to hitchhike it. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope we don't do any hitchhiking out here today. But hey, I'll give, I'll put a $20 out there and see what happens. But other than that, look at this. This is, this is gonna be fun. You know, at least one tour fell through, but another tour opens up. And this is, you know, first, you know, probably probably first come first service, really. Look at this. This is so beautiful. So if you want to go to do a boat tour, come on in. I'm going to touch this water, see how cold it is. Oh, that water is like semi-warm, but I bet if you go more out there, it's probably cold. But it's a nice day to do this too. I would not recommend doing this in the um, when it's when it's like fogged or something like um you know something like that with mist out and everything. It's or rain or rain about to come. Don't do that to yourself um, because you're not you're not, you're not going to see the views, you know. Because remember, you're you're down below. You're not you're not going up in elevation. But it's it's beautiful out here. It is beautiful. All right, we're on the boat tour. We can either pick which one we want to go on. Um, but I, don't know, I might pick that one over there. Depending on where they're going. Oh, legs still hurt. <laughs> I say we take this one out. Get the real run over here. I want to feel like I'm falling out of this joint. <laughs> How you doing today? Good, yourself? There you go. All right, welcome on board. All right, my legs are still jacked yeah, up yeah. from hiking, so sorry, man. Relaxing time. Hey. Yeah, 
Oh, all right. I'm sitting in the back because it's by the. See, one tour goes down, you get another one. And this one's $35 cheap. Everybody else tours like 80 bucks for no apparent reason. But well, we got both both boats, so that's pretty cool right now. Now, this is a U.S. Coast Guard inspected vessel. As such, we have enough life preservers on board for each and every one of you. You're going to find 33 of them here in this compartment. You have another 14 in the bow, including seven child preservers. There's another 14 out there on the stern, including two more child life preservers. Uh, you guys, watch your step here today. This step gets people every boat ride. Uh, if you're getting up and moving around out on the tour, watch your step. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to get up and move around once the boat is underway. I'm just going to have you all sitting down for me when we're entering and leaving dockings here. Uh, if there was a man overboard today, if someone fell off the boat, I'm going to be the only crew member on board here, so I would be requesting some of your assistance in bringing that person back on the boat. There's a life ring out there on the back, as well as a man overboard crane and a life sling, so we got all the necessary equipment on here to save your life if we had to. You're also going to find AED up here, as well as a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher. If you guys have any trash or recycling, i got a trash or recycling up here. Please don't just throw it under your seat. And other than that, that's just about all my safety stuff out of the way. So we're going to go out for an hour and a half. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to stop and see a waterfall. So it should be a good time. If you guys are excited for a boat ride, say, Woo! Woo! All right. Ow! <laughs> Where do we get the wool? <laughs> <laughs> This is the last return boat of the day, so I can't stress it enough. If you missed this boat, you are fresh out of luck. It's going to be a long ride back to your car. So make sure you're back on this boat by 5 p.m. It's going to be your ride back. Uh, you're more than welcome to leave anything on this boat if you like. This is you're all going to be getting back on the same exact boat. So if you want to leave anything on here, you're more than welcome to. If you don't want to go see the waterfall, you're also more than welcome to stay on here. Uh, but it is as you prefer. Uh, other than that, anyone got any questions? All right, I gotta have you guys all in a seat for me as we come into the dock. So make sure you're all in a seat for me as we come into the dock here. And then once I have the boat tied off and it is safe to go ahead and depart, I'll make sure to let you all know.
St. Mary Lake. Uh, that's actually one of my favorite stories to explain because it's uh, pretty indicative of how stuff it was named around here. So, um, St. Mary Lake was the theory, or the story that was accepted for a long time, is that St. Mary Lake was named by um, a priest named uh, Father Desmet, who was an early explorer here in the park. Um, and he was a priest who named a lot of the mountains and things like that, lakes. Um, apparently, he was, the story goes that he was on the east side here, um, out on St. Mary Lake. He saw an apparition of the Virgin Mary. Um, and so he thought, wow, what a better place to name this lake than St. Mary. Uh, so that's the story. Uh, historically, Father DeSmet never set foot on the east side of Lake National Park. So, the story kind of falls to tatters. Um, so it's one of those things where we got muddled up in over history, that's the story, but it didn't actually happen, that kind of deal. So there's not really a true origin name for us, for St. Mary Lake here, but that's kind of what makes up the story for us. Yeah, so as we're cruising back here, I had a great question uh, about the red rock that you can see out there in front of you on Red Eagle, or about the red rock you can see to your left on Goat Town. You're also going to see a lot of it in that creek if you went out to Bering Falls. Uh, that red rock is really iron rich. Uh, what happened was, about 200 billion years ago, there was a shallow inland sea about the size of Texas called the Belt Sea. And that sea deposited iron into the rock here, and then the sea retreated, exposing the iron to oxygen, so oxidizing that red rock up there. Uh, it's called Grinnell Argillite, is the name of that rock. And, uh, it's a very iron rich oxidized rock. So we got some stamp, or we got some stickers, sorry. Uh, we got a St. Mary Lake stamp that we can stamp anything with. Uh, we've got postcards of St. Mary Lake. Uh, like I said, we got those stickers. We also have something called a vessel passport. You can stamp that you wrote on the joy too here today. So that's all free to you on the way out. If you want to grab any of it, make sure to go ahead and do so. Um, but otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this tour, we also offer boat rides at Bay Glacier, Lake McDonald, and Two Medicine. So if you enjoyed this, you probably enjoy those. If you didn't enjoy this, I wouldn't recommend another boat ride. Uh, but you do you. Uh, otherwise, we're going to be coming in shortly, so I just got to have you guys all on a seat for me as we come into the dock. So just make sure you go ahead and grab a seat either out there on the back or in the boat. And then once the, the, uh, the boat is docked safely and tied off, I'll let you all know when you're good to go ahead and depart. But thank you all so much for coming out with us here today for the Glacier Park Company. Hope you have a great rest of your day for your time here in Glacier Park Park. Okay, so that was fun. Um, we went on the boat. It, it took about an hour, yeah, exactly what is it, like an hour, 15 minutes, went to Bering Falls, and then we just came right on back. And it was and it was $35. That's not bad for a boat tour to on the um, St. Mary St. Mary Lake. Now, they do have um, other ones. They, they have one at like, um, Lake McDonald. Um, they, got, they do got one at Mini Glaciers. And they do have one at the, um, the Medicine medicine um lake as well and um they're same same price um but i i think this this one was pretty good and i actually um got on here just to, just to, just to, just to get on and i didn't know what i was gonna do today but i'm like lucky i did lucky i did i stopped here and took the boat ride and tour was nice the the guy was nice everybody was nice and it was fun and short and it was pretty cheap compared to the other other tours out here, but I, I highly recommend it. Um, highly recommend going to the other lakes as well. That it's on the pamphlet they tell you to, and they also say to do it in the um, also online. Recommendations to do it online. Um, I just pretty much just showed up and said, "Hey, do you got one?" And they let me in. But that may not be the, the, for for other people because it may be booked up. But um, I'm happy I did this this uh, book tour. So I'm gonna go back get back on to the St. Mary, um, I have to get back to the St. Mary Visitor Center. So I came back just in time, exactly how I 
planned it, but let's go get on the shuttle right now. Thank you guys for watching. Please keep subscribing to Cook Sky Adventures and also follow me on Facebook and also follow me on Instagram. Uh, subscribe and I will see you guys later.